Let's take a look at valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons most involved in the bonding processes between atoms. They are found in the s and p orbitals of the highest energy level or the highest number for the periodic table row. If we do the electron configuration for chlorine 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, we look at the highest energy level which would be the third energy level and we look at the s and p orbitals and we see that chlorine has seven valence electrons. For magnesium we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Again it's the third energy level, s orbital, two electrons, giving magnesium two valence electrons. It's easiest if we use the core notation or noble gas notation. Here we can see definitely the s and p orbitals of the highest energy level. So for phosphorus we use the noble gas neon followed by 3s2, 3p3. The s2 and the p3 gives us five valence electrons. For potassium the noble gas notation is argon, AR, 4s2, showing two valence electrons. And for vanadium, again we use argon, 4s2, 3d3, but again we're only looking at the highest energy level, so therefore we're looking at the 4, and only the s and p orbitals, so in this case s2 giving vanadium two valence electrons. So here we have four examples of oxygen, manganese, argon, and krypton. Go ahead and figure out the electron configuration using core or noble gas nutation and figure out the valence electron value for each of the elements. Go ahead and pause the video now and complete that work and when you come back you can check your answers. So let's see how you did. So for oxygen, we have 2s2, 2p4, giving us six valence electrons. For manganese, we have 4s2, 3d5, giving us two valence electrons, rem remembering that the d is not a valence electron orbital. Argon, we have 3s2, 3p6, giving us eight valence electrons. And for bromine, we have argon, AR, 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. The s2 and the p5 gives us seven valence electrons. Now, for most valence electrons, all you need to really know is where the element is located on the periodic table. And from that position on the periodic table, you should be able to figure out the valence electron value. So here's what it would look like if we did the periodic table in valence shells. And we notice that these first two columns are the s orbitals. And this helium should actually probably sit right here, acting like an alkali earth metal, as 1s2. The d transition elements in the center are not valence. The f inner transition elements down here on the bottom are not valence shells. And then the P shells over here, 1 through 6, gives us the rest of the valence electrons. So let's look at how we might do this. So once again, helium, if we put helium on the periodic table, we notice that it is in the 1s2 position. That would give us two valence electrons. Lithium, here in the second row, first column, that would be 2s1, giving us one valence electron. Aluminum would sit here at 3p1, right here in the third row. So that would give us 3p1. That would give us the s2 and the p1, making three valence electrons. Zircon sits here at 4d2. Now we remind ourselves that at 4d2, the d is not a valence shell, so therefore we go back to the 5s2 and zircon would have two valence electrons. Antimony sits here at 5p3. 
5p3 would give us the 5s2, 4d10, 5p3, and therefore it would be s2p3 giving us 5 valence electrons. Krypton sits here at 4p6. 4p6 gives us the s2 and the p6, or 8 valence electrons. And francium sits over here at 7s1, giving us 1 valence electron. So using your periodic table, go ahead and fill in the rest of this table. And for each of the following elements, determine how many valence electrons each of them would have. So go ahead and turn off the video now and try this, these problems. And when you're finished, you can come back and check how you did. So let's go ahead and see how you did. So fluorine would have seven valence electrons. Iron, two valence electrons. Calcium, two. Francium, one. Nickel, two. Neon, eight. Oxygen, six. Arsenic, five. Xenon, eight. Strontium, two. Chlorine, seven. Cobalt, two. Silver, two. Iodine, seven and astentine 7. So I hope this helps you to understand how to count out valence electrons and go ahead and continue working on electrons and bonding principles. Thank you.